this is how large things get delivered to your house. Here's the crate coming off the truck. Um, the driver just had a regular uh, hand pallet jack in the back, which concerned me slightly because there's a have a standard California um, rounded curve, which is kind of a whoop-de-whoop -whoop that we were going to have to get the crate over. Um, that turned out not to be a problem. We just took a very slight run at it and uh, went right over it without really upsetting the apple cart. As you can see here, the SIA driver and I got the crate up the driveway and into the garage in good order uh, just using the pallet jack. Um, it was surprisingly easy. Um, the official shipping weight of this uh, unit was 649 pounds, and I think based on the experience, we probably could have gotten something weighing, I don't know, 30-40% more, probably pushing 1,000 pounds. Uh, could have been done just as well. So. Um, have a little more confidence now about uh, perhaps getting a larger lathe later because those things tend to be um, even heavier. And I've cut the bands off now with these metal snips. Um, wasn't too much trouble doing that. They were a little springy, but I just kind of stayed out of the way and they weren't actually that energetic. And I was able to pick up and move the stand pretty easily. So with this crowbar and a rubber mallet, we are starting to open the crate. It's getting exciting. this they will get a stand for this camera do a little more but Ooh, can we peek inside yet oh. and the lid is loose here's our first look at the inside of the crate and I have not peeked here we are all right machine is fully assembled it's sitting a little bit diagonally in the crate um, wrapped in uh, plastic We'll be getting that off here pretty soon, but meanwhile I'm going to uh, pound out a bunch of staples from this lid piece here so that we can safely cut it up later. And now I've removed the central bar. Um, I'm going to take a little care uh, over at the, by the side where the Z hand wheel is. Um, this looks to be a decently constructed crate. Um, the, the skin is like, I don't know, probably six millimeter plywood and there is some heavier stuff. Um, so maybe 12 millimeter uh, framing that's used. Um, so I would say all in all, a pretty pretty reasonable packing job. And uh, this thing arrived completely intact with no visible exterior damage uh, much at all. Just a couple of scuff marks from pallet jacks and that's about it. Um, it's worthy of a little bit of care when you're unpacking the crate. This is the chip tray um, and it's, uh, as you can see, it's a just screwed on with two blocks to one side of the crate. So you have to take a little bit of care that you don't bend it as you're uh, pulling the crate pieces apart. Right, I think it's time for the unveiling. Here we go. For shipment there's a small toolbox uh, taped down to the table with uh, presumably various bits and bobs um, that's a good look at the machine uh, obviously there's a lot of glop to clean off uh, rust preventatives laying all over it uh, not too surprising if you've ever unpacked any kind of uh, metal goods that came from China General impression, looking at the hand wheels and whatnot, even though they're probably going to go away. Um, it's decently well made. People have talked about sometimes not having a great finish on uh, paint on these uh, types of machines, but this looks uh, perfectly competent. Uh, starting to get the glop on my fingers. Um, the blue, blue housing looks pretty good. Yeah. 
detailed look at the ways you have it there. Uh, seem reasonably smooth. Got a nice end cap over the lead screw there. That'll be coming off here as we CNC convert. The hand wheels have that. I don't know if you can see it. They have that sort of universal Chinese font. It's pretty funny. Uh, looks like the uh, little grip tip is, has not been installed here because it would be protruding during shipment. Uh, and you can see here there's a coolant drain and a barb fitting for attaching a drain hose. Um, so you can do pretty pretty serious coolant things on here. Um, the way y axis way cover is kind of wedged in here, but I'm assuming that'll relax out just fine. Um, everything looks pretty good. No obvious uh, shipping problems of any kind so far. And opening the box, it turns out this stand is bottom side up the way I set it down, which is actually kind of good because we're going to leave the flaps open, flip the box over, and uh, then it, we should just be able to lift the box off. Yeah, here's the stand. Um, this is pretty much as expected. It's a, a welded heavy gauge sheet metal stand. It's reasonably sturdy. Um, Give some bubble wrap over it. Um, uh, you know, fit and finish looks okay. Uh, Nothing too much to complain about. You can hear there's a little bit of wobble, but I don't think that's going to be a big deal. Um, there are bolt holes in the bottom where you can bolt it to the floor, which is going to be a good idea since we're going to have a 600 pound unit here when we're done. Um, bolt holes in the top uh, for attaching the machine. And on the front, we'll get down here, there's a cabinet door, a latch, snap release, a couple shelves. Um, as you see back in there, there's a package of hardware. We'll have a look at that in a bit. Everything generally seems to be in order. Should be serviceable. 